Okay, guys, I take back what I said earlier. This is a real copy of Omega Ruby. And when I said I thought this was a counterfeit, I only meant that I thought initially somebody took another type of 3DS game, transplanted the game PCB into the cartridge shell. That's not the case. This actually turns out to be legit. And you know what? This isn't booting. This is not booting. Now, I looked at this here, and the TSOP package is an extra ROM made by Macronix, and everything here looks to be okay. As a matter of fact, I even put this on the scope, and everything seems to be normal. Um, this memory module is an extra ROM, and it includes both storage for the game as well as storage for the uh, writable data, save data. So it's all consolidated into one memory module, but I can't get it to boot. Scope seems to be okay. The contacts, I clean these thoroughly. Nothing seems to be of issue there. I'm going to reflow this chip because my theory is that cycling this game and the surface mount package gets flexed, and there's a lot of fatigue, and I think that we are fatiguing these solder joints, and that might be, this is anecdotal, but this might be the cause. This is certainly what's plaguing uh, Game Boy games currently. So I'm going to reflow this. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to do all this live here. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to try it. I don't know what's going to happen. Let me sort of put a little shim under this so it skips some of the light off. And I'm going to zoom in very, very centrally, just like this. There we have it. Okay, so I'm going to start right here with this side. Perfect. Now I'm just going to grab a little no clean flux right here and I'm going to introduce my tip that I have just a small, small bead of solder on. And I'm going to come right in here, and we're going to do some dragging techniques just like this, nice and easy. Now I'm doing this blind, I'm not using a microscope, and this camera is in my way. But I'm going to do some quick reflowing, just like this, because I have a feeling that maybe, just maybe, the problem is in fact Cycleware. What is cycleware? That's a matter where we are cycling video game cartridges in and out, in and out, in and out. And unlike older Nintendo games, which use PTH, te PTH technology or plated through hull technology, these are surface mount parts. And these, uh, these PCB substrates are really, really thin. They flex. The solder can fatigue, and these joints can go open, meaning the signals go open. So let's just go ahead and let's just let's just do it to it. Nice and easy, nice reflow. Okay, that looks pretty exceptional to me. I'm going to back the zoom out of this. Okay, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is temporarily I'm going to put our game back together. Now this game, unbelievably, was not booting before, and I might, I might have been totally wrong on this, and I, if I am, I apologize profusely, but I just, I'm not convinced that we're talking about massive memory failure. I think this is a mechanical problem with the solar system used, because these things have to be sold in Europe and other places where leaded solder just isn't, hold on just a second, where leaded solder just isn't acceptable anymore. So let's go ahead and let's pull out our 3DS. Okay, here's our 3DS. Now this wasn't even showing up. This wasn't even booting. Let's see if I can get this to show up. Okay, nothing. I'm going to cycle it a couple of times. Let me zoom out a little bit more. There it is. Oh my goodness. Holy mackerel, does it boot. Son of a bitch. It's working. It's booting. So we must have had some opens on some address lines or some data lines before. Let's see if the save data is intact. I've never, I've never um, played through this one. I really want to. There it is. Some young lady named Alice. I bought this used. And just to show you,
that's the game. So maybe, maybe, maybe my theory is right. I don't know. But this is certainly something to think about before we start writing articles of nonsense. <laughs>